Kelly from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Wednesday, April 17th. So today we have the moon in Leo again all day, which is definitely going to help increase the pep in our step. Try to keep the vibes a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter, a little bit more playful, a little bit more creative. We have an opportunity to get in alignment with our heart space, especially coming out of this eclipse portal. Many things have changed for us and therefore a change of heart is also on the table. Now, this is one of the busier days this week. If you haven't listened to the Ascension forecast for this week, I'm going to recommend that you do that. We talked about how Wednesday and Friday are of the busiest days in the cosmos this week for good reason as well. And here we are with a major day in the cosmos right in front of us. We have 15 different aspects taking place here today. 15. It's a very, very busy, crazy, semi-chaotic day in the cosmos. 11 of those aspects are going to involve the moon. And let me just say that taking in a good look, an overview on some of the energies that are going to be popping off here today, we are building in our passions, in our desires, in our authenticity, in our creative force energy. And we are definitely on the peak precipice of making some major breakthroughs where ideas and plans and strategies are concerned. So we kick the day off with the moon in this Leo energy, making a very interesting interaction with Neptune, who of course is in his place of power in Pisces energy. This is definitely going to put us in touch with our higher selves, with our intuition, with our creativity. We're tapping into the mystical visions and dreamscapes of our higher selves. And we're really trying to figure out what is triggering us, what is activating us to be inspired to be motivated, to be determined enough to actually initiate a new chapter and see the obstacles, the challenges, the blockages through in order to manifest said goal, said vision, said dream. There are definitely a lot of feels. There are a lot of downloads. There's a lot of missing details and little bits of information. However, we are listening to our heart space. We are heart led. We are definitely getting in alignment with our next mission, with our next quest. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Mars. Mars, of course, the God of war ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire, hey, and anger. And let me just remind you, Mars is in his rulership right now. We're still very much in Aries energy for the, well, today, tomorrow. And then of course, we're going to be moving into Taurus season. So Mars still has a lot of power here. The reason why we're not seeing as much action and activity as we would like to be seeing is because Mars is in Pisces energy. He's at the ending of his cycle. He's at the ending of his particular particular chapter and he is trying to get in alignment with a new mission, new quest, new truth, new purpose, new vision, new goal, new dream. This particular interaction between the moon and Mars is definitely going to put the pep back in our step. We are building, cultivating this fire, the spark, this flame in our inner round to be inspired, to be motivated, to be determined to actually see something through. The moon is then going to trine Venus. Venus is the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. She's in this Aries energy, again, kind of cutting off the old, really understanding where she is having a change of heart, change of worth, change of values, change in vision, change in goal, vision and dreams. And now we're starting to realize what needs to be done. The cords that we need to cut in order to free us from the past, in order for us to anchor and integrate those particular life lessons and realizations in this present moment so that we can get started actually moving forward, pursuing new wants, new dreams, new desires. The moon trining with Venus. This is fire on fire action. We love fire energy because it helps us to burn through the cords, the attachments to the past that are holding us back and limiting our progress, our productivity, and actually being able to create a realm and reality that not only looks good, that feels good, but fire energy is very regenerative. It is creative. It is passionate. It is filling us up with a new desire to really be living a more authentic life, especially when we're listening to our heart space. Now, things are going to get a little tiny bit murky because the moon is going to make a very tough interaction with Saturn. Saturn is the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, foundations, structures, willpower, discipline. 
Saturn is in Pisces energy, again, trying to wrap up a cycle, trying to bring an ending and a closure point, trying to deconstruct the old false set of beliefs, the old limiting beliefs, the old dreams, the old goals, the old visions. Why? Because we are on the peak precipice of jumping into two new timelines, new chapters, where we are going to have to reconstruct the way our physical realms actually look. And of course, we have to do the work in our inner selves before we're going to see those changes actually manifest in our exterior realm. This particular energy is kind of taking away that playful energy that we've been trying to build and cultivate while this moon has been in Leo energy. It's going to kind of snuff out a lot of the bigger goals, the bigger dreams, the bigger visions that we may have been excited about because we have to be a little bit more realistic. Now, not to say that we were being unrealistic. However, many of us tend to bite off more than we can chew, tend to dream too big of a dream that kind of creates more distance and disappointment than it does actually encourage support um, achieving this said goal, vision, and dream. So the roles and responsibilities in our lives are changing, especially to be more real, raw, authentic, vulnerable to ourselves. We have to be in alignment with our authenticity. And so there is a little bit of this, we're going to call it stage presence that tends to happen with Leo energy, where we're kind of, oh, in the world with a different image, a different, let's call it perspective, a different projection than what it is that we're actually in alignment with in our inner realm. So this is kind of like a reality check, like, whoa, are you putting on a show here? Are you trying to entertain? Are you just talking for the sense of talking? Or are you needing to actually get validated by the odor world, by the odor realm? Now, keep in mind that the Leo energy is the heart and soul of the Zodiac. Also keep in mind that it is the performer and entertainer of the Zodiac as well. And so we have to start kind of bridging the gap between who it is that we project ourselves out in the world to be and who it is that we actually are. And so this little bit of a reality check may be a little bit crushing to our wants, needs, and desires, because again, we need to bring it into a perspective where we're actually able to achieve some of those wants, needs, and desires. And Saturn, the Lord of Karma, just needs to pump the brakes on us kind of, you know, conjuring up this new plan, this new path, this new strategy in order for us to integrate the tough love life lessons that we should have previously learned. So this definitely isn't going to feel as great, but we're not going to sit in it for very long. We do have the moon and Leo trining the North Node in Aries energy. So again, we get fire energy working for us. Now the North node is trying to get us on the right path, a solo quest, a solo adventure, if you will, where we're doing things differently and we're a lot more independent doing these particular things because we have our own set of goals, our own set of dreams and visions that individually speaking, we need to pursue for our own soul's mission. The moon interacting with the North Node is starting to piece together where it is that we do see a path moving forward, where we are seeing the glimmers, the visions of this new reality, of this new path, this new passion. However, the fire energy, again, going to help us kind of burn through the limitations, the restrictions, the old in order for us to regenerate this new expression of self, this new want, need, and desire, this new potential to kind of rearrange our physical realm so that it looks and feels authentic to our higher selves and to our heart space. Mars, the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, even our anger, is going to make a very positive interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer. So we love this because first of all, Chiron is in Aries energy, helping us with this rebranding or this quote unquote identity crisis, depending on which way you want to look at it. But this is really kind of tapping into a new warrior type of spirit. First of all, Mars being in this Pisces energy, interacting with the wounded healer in Aries energy, Pisces energy is about endings. Aries energy is about beginnings. And so Mars is kind of helping us to transmute the endings, the closures that are needed, especially to some of the past pain, past trauma, past wounds in which we've accumulated that has had a major, major effect on limiting us of being our true selves. And so Chiron is here again, Uh, Because we're being aspected in a positive way, we're tapping into the healing part of Chiron at this particular point in time. Mars is coming with the warrior type of spirit, 
Chiron is saying, yep, with that mood and that attitude, we can grow through anything. We can heal anything. We can improve on anything. Let's do it. So this is definitely a positive manifestation. And here's the kicker at the exact same time that Mars and Chiron are doing this, you know, you know, inspiration, confidence building, confidence boosting, if you will, rising up in the warrior type of mood and attitude and spirit. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in Aries energy, a beginning energy, is going to be making a positive interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, in Pisces energy, the ending energy. So first of all, this is amazing because we have the masculine and feminine energies working very hard to overcome some of the restrictions, some of the limitations that we have found within ourselves, especially with trying to break away from the old version of self, the old identity, the old ways of doing things, the old patterns and behaviors in order to start fresh, to try something new. Venus in this Aries energy, she's only looking forward. She's not really looking back. She doesn't want to look back. She's already done her time in Pisces energy. She's done the unpacking of the old wound. She's done her, let's call it dark night of the soul where her self-worth, her self-value is concerned. She has risen up. She's risen above it. She's now in Aries energy. She wants to start fresh. And all of it comes down to this major change of heart. The change of heart is because she's done the work on herself to kind of have a glow up to understand worth and values within herself that she didn't see before. And of course, that is going to manifest in the energy exchange with the relationship dynamics that we have with other people. Here's the kicker. Saturn, he's restriction, right? He's limitation. And right now we're understanding between Venus and Saturn where it is that we've been holding ourselves back from going after what it is that we want, from doing the things that make us happy, for being with the people that bring the best of ourselves out to play. And so there's a realization with Mars and Chiron kind of tapping into a warrior spirit to grow, to heal, to improve, especially where this new version of self is concerned. We have Venus and Saturn doing this little dance to understand the restrictions and limitations that we once were very, very pressurized under. And a lot of that was due to not having the confidence, the worth, the value within ourselves to actually make the major changes to reconstruct, redesign, restructure our lives, including cutting people out. So this is like our heart space is showing us what it is that we want to do, what we want to improve, what we want to grow, what we want to build, what we want to bring to life. That means something to us. Saturn because he's being aspected in a positive way, is kind of giving us a download of the blueprint of what we need to start doing to actually build a solid foundation in our lives, to tap into a new willpower, tap into a new discipline, and override the old programming, the old conditioning that had us trapped, that had us blocked from actually pursuing the wants, the needs, the desires, the goals, the vision, the dreams that our heart, our higher selves are now asking for us to pursue. So major, major energy between these two particular aspects. We follow up with the moon in Leo, trining beautiful interaction, first with Mercury, retrograde in Aries energy, then with Chiron, the wounded healer in this Aries energy as well. A trine again is a positive interaction. We're using the fire energies to our benefit to burn down the structures of the old, to burn through the cords, the attachments that are keeping us held back, keeping us in the same kind of holding patterns, keeping us in the same mental narrative. The moon and Mercury working together, first of all, is our heart and our head getting in alignment with what it is that hasn't been supporting us, hasn't been encouraging us, hasn't been really building in our self-esteem and our self-confidence to actually break away from that old mental narrative, that old way of doing things. This is us getting on the same page. We're having epiphanies. We're having a change of heart and therefore now a change of mind. And we are very easily able to kind of cut things off to pivot and put ourselves in a different path in a different direction. The follow up with Chiron being involved, of course, is going to boost our self-confidence, our self-worth, our self-esteem. We are more optimistic. We are bold. We're brave. We're courageous. We're tapping into that earlier warrior spirit that Mars helped us unleash. And we are getting in alignment with 
what our heart wants us to pursue. We're not allowing the old projection of the old self, the limiting beliefs, the old ways of looking at life and the old ways of doing things to prevent us from actually improving, actually growing and healing and moving forward. Of course, just when we're doing very, very good things, energetically speaking, there's got to be an aspect that, you know what, takes us down a couple of pegs. The moon is going to make a very tough interaction with Mars. So this is when the frustration kind of kicks in. This is when the restlessness comes in. Think of it this way. Think of like the energy that we've already talked about thus far in the day, really building, getting us excited, getting us inspired, getting us motivated. And then we realize, what am I supposed to do with this? I have no no moves to make. I have no changes that I can actually make in my physical realm right now. Because again, reminder, the changes need to be made in your inner realm before they're going to manifest in your exterior realm. So now we're getting frustrated. We're, we have all of this new energy, this new excitement, this new passion these new realizations. We want to do something with it, but we can't physically do anything with it at this moment. So the agitation, the frustration, the anger sets in. And of course, that is going to bring our vibe down a couple of pegs. We're not going to sit in that for too long, though. We have an amazing interaction between Venus and the North Node, both of them in Aries energy. So here's the thing. This is a conjunction. We know that conjunctions are just as much an ending as it is a beginning. What this is going to help us do is to get in alignment in our heart space, to tap into that warrior spirit, to tap into that boldness, bravery, and creativity that we've been building throughout the day. And what this does is we're finally having a breakthrough. We're finally realizing where it is that we can break free from some of the limitations, some of the restrictions, some of the old thoughts, old narratives, old habits that keep us from moving forward, keep us living authentically, keep us constantly improving in our lives and especially where relationships are concerned and where money matters are concerned as well. So this is a time where we're starting to actually feel like we're in alignment with a new mission, with a new quest with the new truth with the new project with the new goal and we're actually feeling pretty magical about the fact that for some reason we feel like it's just around the corner we feel like we're able to actually kind of reach our goals we feel like we're being inspired and motivated to really make great changes in our physical realm all starting with how it is that we are feeling in our inner realm. So this is going to be a major point of growth and realization on what it is that we need to do to honor our heart space and therefore make the changes, make the transformations in our physical realm that have us blocked from doing just that. The moon in Leo energy, going to get in the boxing ring, fight it out first with Jupiter, then you with Uranus, both of them, of course, in Taurus energy. So what happens when fire and earth come together? Well, if there's too much fire, meaning, you know, too much mood, too much attitude, excitement, inspiration, motivation, boldness, confidence, all of those fire qualities, there's too much fire, it's going to burn the earth. It's going to scorch the earth. We're going to have a wildfire. It's going to get out of control. However, if there's too much earth, which is, you know, logic and practicality and discipline and habits and routines in our physical realm, our physical reality, if there's too much of that, earth puts out fire. It snuffs it. Just think of taking a big shovel of dirt and throwing it on a campfire. That fire is going to be no more. So we get into the boxing ring first with Jupiter. Jupiter is the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings. And of course, getting into the boxing ring, fighting it out, it means that the goals, the vision, the downloads that we've been having, the heart activations, the inspiration, the motivations are now coming into direct conflict with our physical realm. We are really closed off at seeing the opportunities and the options that we currently have in our physical realm to make these changes, to make these transformations, to kind of clear the path for us to actually move forward in pursuit of this new goal, this new vision, this new dream. To further that, We get in the boxing ring with Uranus, the great awakener who likes to shake us up, likes to throw lightning bolts at us because this is a square and it's not the greatest aspect. We're sitting more in confusion than anything else. We have new wants, needs, and desires. How we're going to get that, we don't know yet. 
That's where the confusion, the agitation, the frustration kicks in. This is where we're feeling closed off, closed minded, not able to see the forest past the trees, so to speak. And it doesn't feel good. It does have a large, large product probability of creating a lot of anxiousness within us. Cause again, our ants, in our pants are ready to go they're ready to build they're ready to do something but this is an inner realm cultivation this is an inner realm building of energy there's not a whole lot we can do owed in our physical realms we make a very powerful recovery from those squares with the moon in this leo energy making a very positive interaction with neptune so if you'll remember we did kick off the day between the moon and neptune kind of downloading us with this new vision with this new goal with this new dream we are intuitively in alignment with our higher selves we were trying to bring this new passion this new inspiration this new excitement to our lives in order for us to start figuring out how it is that we're going to manifest some of the things that we got popping off in our inner realm so this is like a reminder throwback to the beginning of the day this is a reminder of what it is that we're trying to build what it is that we want to manifest what it is that we're dreaming about where it is that the creative force energy is flowing very strongly through us really activating our heart space to have a new want need and desire have new pursuits of happiness of creativity of goals of visions of dreams the last thing that we have going on here today is the sun in this Aries energy, making a beautiful interaction with Neptune again in his place of power in this Pisces energy. So this is motivation. This is inspiration. Think of this Aries energy, a fire starter, initiator, new chapters, new timelines, new identity, new fresh start, new fresh beginning in the great grand scheme of things of what it is that we want to build, what we want to create what we want to bring to life again the goal the vision the dream that we've been conjuring up in our mental planes in our heart space this is the neptune energy this is imagination this is intuition this is being guided by our higher selves to pursue a path to initiate something new to bring something new to life that of course is going to be real and raw and authentic to our soul's mission to our soul's purpose <music>